Oh, hi! <laughs> like I didn't know. <laughs> I acted like, oh, I didn't know you were there. Hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me move something. Hey, everybody, welcome. Um, I just, I just felt like throwing the camera on because a few weeks ago, or was it last month, I did a vlog uh, called Onion Burns, and I'm going to do one now called Onion Burns Part 2. Man, my hand is shaking. Let me see if I can get it propped in a way where it's not shaking. Remember, like I said, my, look at that, it's shaking like crazy. I guess that Parkinson's is getting, well, I don't know what I have, but uh, my hand shakes. Um, <laughs> but this is, this is Onion Burns Part 2. I'm going to be making some homemade uh, little burritos tonight. Um, I got some ingredients and uh, some saw hot sauce and all that other fun stuff and Mexican cheese and uh, tortilla shells and of course you need onions. So um, I used to get yellow onions and they were good. They were like sweet but they never made my eyes tear when I would cut them. And, and they weren't hot like I like onions. I like them really hot. I like spicy, burning your sinuses onions. I love that stuff. I love hot, hot sauce like that. I love uh, when you go to Chinese, get Chinese food, that mustard, that hot mustard. Oh, when it cleans, it just burns. I love that feel. Uh, by the way, if anybody knows of a good hot sauce, um, like, like a Hispanic hot sauce, something to put on burritos or tacos or something like that, I picked up two of them so far. One I thought was way too sweet and not hot enough. This other one, it, it's okay, but it just has a funky taste to it. So if you if you got any favorite, you know, uh, hot sauces that you usually buy at the grocer, well, let me know. Let me know. So anyway, uh, yeah, I, 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 I decided to start get the last couple of times I got the regular, uh, what do they call them? Uh, Regular onions? I, I don't know, but they're not the yellow, the big, you know, well, they're small too. Um, what am I saying? This is a vlog. This is just a goofy vlog because I felt like uh, telling you my eyes were burning again. <laughs> so, uh, uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh, it's not an earthquake. It's my hand shaking. See that? No, I'm trying to hold it still. Um, what else? Uh, 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 uh. I'm, I'm, you know, I finally gave in. I had uh, the first three seasons on Blu-ray in these really nice steel books, and um, I, I haven't watched them. And we'll, uh, two of them I got last year as a gift from someone I won't name. Um, and uh, I was glad that I got them. And I love the steel books because they all come with the excuse me, like the crest on the front of it, like a pseudo-magnet of the different um, castles, the different uh, 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 lives. I'm talking about Game of Thrones. Excuse me, I started watching that, uh, was it last week? I believe I started last week, and I'm already started, I just finished the second episode of season three. Uh, there's ten episodes each, and I'm like two or three a day I'm, I'm going through and I know I'm late to the game um, I don't know why I, I guess there were other things I was watching or I just never found it like I wanted to watch it uh, the show Game of Thrones on HBO but um, I, I and I used to hear everybody talking about it how great it is and how good Peter Dinklage is and uh, the Red Wedding and the dragons and all this other stuff and the, the White Walkers, the zombie things, whatever. And so, I, you know, there's a few things. There's a few sitcoms I watch every week now since it's all started up again. And I've been watching Westworld, the, the new, I believe it's Showtime. Maybe not. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's on every Sunday night. Showtime's, uh, I said Showtime, I don't know. Uh, Westworld with Anthony Hopkins and a whole bunch of other talented people. I really loved the campy movie from 1973, I think it was. 
uh, with Yul Brenner and Richard Benjamin and James Brolin, not Josh, James. And so I was very intrigued how they were going to make it a television series, and it's fantastic. It's freaking fantastic. It's mind-boggling to try to figure out everything that's going on. And I only watched about five episodes of that. So anyway, um, yeah, I was looking for something different to watch, and I was like, you know, maybe it's time to watch Game of Thrones. Maybe it's time to throw that on. I believe there's six seasons total, and the sixth one just ended earlier this year. Um, so I figured, well, you know, let's crack them open. Let's start watching them. By the third episode, I was hooked. The, it, the first two, it was just, there was so many characters to try to keep track of and figure out where they're all from, who they're all related to. And by the third, when things really started to get interesting, uh, is when I really was hooked. Um, and I'm, I'm loving the thing. The thing is fantastic. I don't know why it took me so long. Uh, I, would, I would always use that excuse as, I'm going to wait till the season ends, and then I'm going to ma mainline the full one season. I, I I, I basically do that with a lot of television shows other than sitcoms, but like when Dexter was out, I, I, would, I wouldn't watch them by week because I couldn't take. Same with Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. I can't take that week wait, you know, uh, wondering what's going to happen. So I usually let a whole season go by and then I watch the entire season, two, three episodes a night like one gigantic movie, continuing every day, uh, get a series done within a week, or a season within a week, and enjoy them that way. And I think that was my excuse with Game of Thrones. It's like, well, when they all come out, eventually I'll watch them, and I'll just go one right after the other. And that's what I'm doing now. And yeah, I'm loving it. It's great. Like I said, I just started season three. And I have a bunch of characters I hate, and I got a bunch of characters that I love. And I guess it's the same with everybody. But I've also been avoiding everything online about it, or even watching any of the extras or listening to the commentaries, because I don't know, I don't want to know what's going to happen. I want to just let this thing go on. Boy, this, I should just rename this Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, I just finished the second episode of season three, and I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was, uh, like I said, the series never never fails me. I, I love all the characters. I love all the betrayals. I love everything. I actually want to watch the South Park episode where they make fun of it, uh, of the Game of Thrones. And, and Cartman is always having those secret meetings in some man's garden saying, Get out of my garden! <laughs> It's pretty funny. And the penis song, you know, made to the theme of Game of Thrones. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so I've been doing that, and I've been watching Westworld, and I've been uh, still doing a lot of editing on some uh, Retro Roger stuff that'll be coming up in the future. And um, just as a little, maybe a little kind of a hint, I'm thinking about moving on to show off my DVD collection what little I have left in my DVDs uh, that I didn't get rid of in spite of getting Blu-rays. Um, but I'm planning on packing them all up in a box. And um, even though I watch a few of them, at least I'll have them in the box alphabeticalized. So if I want to watch something, I'll know what box to go for. But, like I said, I, I mean, they're, they're on the floor. They're stacked up on the floor. I have no more shelf space because the Blu-rays have taken over. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm thinking about showing off a lot of the DVDs now and possibly calling the series, Why the Hell Isn't This on Blu-ray Yet? Because there are so many fantastic films that have yet to be released on Blu-ray that are uh, on DVD or even out of print on DVD. Um, so anyway, I'm thinking about doing that. So um, who knows? Who knows when? Who knows if? Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I just wanted to jump in here and tell you about my burning eyes, cutting onions, what I'm going to eat tonight. And um, it's not a burrito where I went out and bought, like one of those big football ones. So there's no dancing tonight. These are just going to be little wrapped up, you know, homemade burritos. Uh, but they'll still be good. Um, 
So anyway, yeah, that's it for now. Um, like I said, I went way too long on Game of Thrones, but I, I, I'm, that's what I'm into right now. Uh, that's what I've been sucked into. And uh, other than that, I just want to, the elections are over. That's all I'll say. Whew, I'm glad that's done. And, uh, well, we're still dealing with stuff. Uh, again, that's all I'll say. So we'll just see where everything goes. Uh, nobody knows. Uh, so uh, there's that. And then next week is Thanksgiving. Uh, this is Monday night, the 14th. So next week, Thursday, will be Thanksgiving. And I will be alone, maybe eating a frozen turkey dinner because I... Uh, oh, woe is me. Put the violin music on. Um, yeah, I, I'm off of work that day. Thursdays are my days off. And... Uh, it isn't like when I was younger when we would all go to our cousin's or our aunt's house and we'd have a big Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, I'm out here all alone now, and uh, there's very little family left. So uh, I'll eat what I eat. Might be a pizza. Who knows? But uh, it's, it's no more of that big fancy Thanksgiving dinner that I used to love. So anyway... Sorry to bring that down. I brought that down. Why did I bring that down? Um, let's do a joke. Um, hmm. Ha. Can I think of a joke real quick? Hmm. 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 Uh, two men walked into a bar. Uh, the third one ducked. There you go. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, don't, like, don't, whatever. Check out my game channel. Uh, it'll be up here somewhere. No, it'll be here. A banner will fly up. I always get that backwards. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm wasting time playing GTA V and things like that. So, um, you can check that out if you want. If not, don't. Yeah. And, uh, uh, like I said, I don't know what the next video will be, but, uh, we will see you then. All right? Bye, everybody. Probably my last vlog before Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. All right, and we'll probably see you when we see you. All right, bye-bye.